It's been a long four years since the Thunder River Rapids ride tragedy when Cindy Lowe, Kate Goodchild, Luke Dorset and Ruzi Aragi lost their lives. In court today at Southport, finally an outcome. Ardent Leisure convicted for three counts of failing to comply with its health and safety duty and slugged with a $3.6 million fine. Arden accepts responsibility for the, this tragedy and fully accepts the court's decision. Inside the courtroom, Kim Dorset, the mother of two of the victims, delivered a heartbreaking victim impact statement. She recounted the moment she saw her granddaughter Ebony Turner, Kate Goodchild's daughter, after being told about the tragedy. Ebony had survived the accident and was hysterical trying to tell of the events that had taken place that afternoon. I couldn't find mummy. These words have become a recurring nightmare, words that will be with me until I too take my last breath. It is impossible to comprehend how the families feel and it was heartbreaking to hear their statements today and my thoughts and prayers are with them. Work Health and Safety Prosecutor Aaron Guilfoyle told the court there was a common theme of failure by Dreamworld and every person who set foot in the theme park put complete blind trust in the owners. During sentencing, Magistrate Pamela Dowes said Ardent Leisure had demonstrated contrition and a thorough approach to learning from the past. But she said this was a rare case where a penalty close to the maximum was appropriate. The fine, $3.6 million, is below the maximum penalty of $4.5 million, but it's the largest fine in Queensland's history for a workplace incident. Ardent Leisure has one month to pay. Jennifer Huxley, ABC News, Gold Coast.